A very good morning to one and all. I am your host, Dr. Rupi Gill, and I feel honored to welcome you all on the behalf of lovely professional university. So, Teddy, what do you think the ascent of today's webinar? Well, I'm glad to share with much excitement that today our expert will deliver her expertise and make us learn about yoga solutions for lifestyle diseases. I'm sure you are as excited as I am for today's learning process. So kindly allow me to introduce our experts. Dr. Neelam Sharma, Professor and Deputy Dean, School of Physical Education, lovely professional university. A dynamic professional with a doctorate degree from Punjab University, Chandigarh. She has completed her MPA from Himachal Pradesh University, Shimla. Also, she holds a diploma in yoga as well. She is the national level player of football and talking about her career as an academician, she has presented eight papers and published more than 50 papers in various national and international journals of repute. And today she'll share her expertise and tell us about the yoga asanas. So thank you so much, ma'am, for joining us today. Thank you so much for your valuable time. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am, for such. Thank you so much, ma'am, uh, for a such uh, uh, lovely uh, introduction of me. So good morning, one and all present here. Uh, um, can you allow me to introduce our expert also? Okay. Yes, ma'am. So I would like to uh, welcome our admission expert, Dr. Chirag Sharma, assistant professor, lovely professional, university and intellectual professional with 10 years of experience as an academician. He has specialization in image processing with 45 research papers in international journals and attendees today. He'll give you an insight of P eligibility and scholarship which I'm sure will make you save a lot of money. And in addition to that, he'll also give you an insight about the infrastructure of the university. So thank you so much, sir, for joining us today. So with this, I'll welcome you all again to the webinar and looking forward for a great interactive session. So now over to you, ma'am, for the content of the day. OK, I, I think I'm more excited. <laughs> Sorry for that. OK, morning. good morning. And one and all present here. Uh, I, Dr. Neelam Sharma, Deputy Dean, School of Physical Education, lovely profession university. Along by, with my uh, fellow uh, staff members, uh, Dr. Arun, Dr. Dipender, and Dr. Sheila. Uh, it's my pleasure to have you here in this interactive session where uh, you will be apprised uh, with yoga solutions for lifestyle diseases. Because nowadays, everybody is talking about uh, yoga and uh, how they can cure themselves through yoga. So these uh, today we are talking about the lifestyle disease, actually. So there are many diseases which is associated with lifestyle. But first, we have to know or we need to understand what actually is the lifestyle disease. So uh, lifestyle disease are elements that are primarily based on the day-to-day -day habits of a people it is mainly associated with our uh, habits what we do and how we do so habits that detract people from activity and push them toward the sedentary lifestyle okay or put them to sedentary routines that can cause a number of health issues that can lead to a chronic non-communicable disease that can have near life-threatening consequences. So this, all those uh, non-communicable disease, uh, sometimes communicable even, but many of the times non-communicable disease is associated with our lifestyles, okay? So lifestyle disease can be defined as a disease linked with one's lifestyle. They caused by lack of physical activity, as I told you in my uh, previous line, that uh, uh, so it is uh, caused by the lack of physical activity, unhealthy eating habits like uh, taking of uh, alcohol, substance, 
smoking etc which can lead to heart disease obesity diabetes cancer etc etc there are many diseases which is mainly associated with the lifestyle okay so today we are working with it to cure these type of disease with yog so first of all let me tell you what actually the yog is and how yog work this we are going to describe here in this presentation so uh ye uh, yog is a system of exercise for a body that involve breath control and help to relax both your body as well as your mind okay so mainly i am talking i'm not talking about i'm talking about the general definitions or the general concept of yog so yog is a part of lifestyle okay so real comfort or uh, lies with the good health you know you are comfortable when uh, you think that uh, your health is good so disease free conditions contentment contentment at the level of mind are essential component of happiness those who practice yoga as a daily routine would experience a great deal of peace of mind and joy this is the people who gives us a feedback then when they do yoga they feel a peace of mind and the happiness inside such people always think in a positive way and lead a very happy life okay so we have included many research paper here which shows that how these um, the people who are doing yoga how they have improved their lifestyles now so yoga brings about the suitable change in the behavior pattern and attitude of a person this is an reason why western countries now following the indian lifestyles which include mainly the yoga there are they have understood that yoga is a mean to manage stress and to lead a healthy lifestyle so next i'm i'm not going to describe you a lot but we have worked on many diseases which is associated with diabetes uh, which uh, which was associated with lifestyles okay so first we should we thought that let's talk about the diabetes first because if you see now the cases of diabetes is increasing in india day by day so that's why i thought that we should discuss something over diabetes today so uh, for diabetes first we need to understand what diabetes is so diabetes is a disease that occur when your blood glucose also called blood sugar is too high so blood sugar is your main source of energy that comes from food you eat insulin is a hormone and that hormone work for work to manage the sugar level in your body okay so next now i am not going to discuss a lot about diabetes i am not going to discuss about what yoga is and i am not going to discuss much more about the uh, lifestyle but mainly there is a relation between lifestyle diabetes and yoga so today we are going to learn what type of exercise or what type of yogic techniques are good to cure this diabetes we came here with the, some research also which shows a significant effect of uh, uh, asanas or yoga on lifestyle disease especially on you uh, especially on diabetes so uh, i have my uh, colleague or my co staff member dr sheila is there and uh, she is going to uh, demonstrate a uh, yogic exercise which is mainly associated with diabetes and uh, uh, she is going to teach you how we can do these exercise in at home so first we have uh, uh, we are working on the whole body part or the all joints of uh, our body so surya namaskar which is known as the warming exercise warming exercise for yoga also so let's do the 12 step, step of uh, 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 this surya namaskar so surya namaskar 
is a sequence of 12 exercise beside being a great cardiovascular uh, it will it is a good exercise for cardiovascular system and surya namaskar along with along is also have an immensely <coughs> <coughs> Effect on body and mind. Just sorry for two minutes. So I request again to my co-staff member to do this Surya Namaskar step by step. I request Arun just to <coughs> demo step by step exercise. <coughs> Surya Namaskar on Sorry. Okay, let's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, this is one exercise, or this is a sequence of twelve step, which is good for your. Warming, it's known as a warming up exercise also. <laughs> but now we are focusing more on the <coughs> we are more focusing on the more specific asanas which is associated with you. Number one is Manduk Asan is well known for diabetes. How you have to do Manduk Asan? So sit in a buzzer asan. And make a fist with both hands and thumb inside. Place your fist on your belly, neck your belly button. Bend forward and exhale. Keep looking straight. Hold your breath in the yoga posture for a few seconds and come up with exhalation the people who are working who are looking this slide or who is looking for the demonstrations are advised to do this or repeat this yoga pose three to four times or as per the capacity of your body so this is mandukasan is mainly associated with diabetes so why it is good for uh, Diabetes has been helping the reproduction to the require of insulin in the body to maintain the level of insulin in the body. <clears throat> Next, thus it has been proven that the people who are practicing this asana help in preventing diabetes disease like diabetes for those who are all free from diabetes this asana help in bringing it under control next next is your anulom vilom pranayam i'm not teaching you much asana i want you just to do these three four asanas and 
you can see the effects of these asanas on diabetes. How to do Anulom Vilom Pranayam? You can sit in any comfortable position. Okay. My uh, co staff member, she is comfortable in uh, uh, this asana, but you can sit in Sukhasana, Bajarasana, or any other comfortable position, but you have to keep your back straight all the time. So, <clears throat> your legs crossed should be in crossed positions. Okay. Or, uh, those who are able to do uh, Padmasana, they can sit in Padmasana. Place left hand on the left knee, right, lift right hand up towards the nose. Exhale completely. And then use right thumb to close right nostril. Inhale through the left nostril. Then close left nostril with your finger. Open right nostril and exhale, exhale through the right side. Every time you have to, it is also known as alternative nostril breathing. Means if you are inhaling from the left, exhale from the right. And then again inhale from the right and exhale from the left. So... You can do this Anulom Bilom Pranayam in this way. And why we should do Anulom Bilom Pranayam? So I'm just discussing few effects of Anulom Bilom Pranayam. Anulom Bilom is found useful in diabetes as due to his alternative nostril breathing, which calms your nervous system. Facilitate internal equilibrium in the in the functions of all system and manage the stress level helping in diabetes treatment because there is one major cause of diabetes is again stress one is your inactive fuel of life means which is associated with your uh, lifestyle another reason for the diabetes is your stress so by yoga as i told you through yoga we can manage our stress level and we can manage, uh, we can work on the functioning of our physiological system. So in this way, these two exercises, these two yogic exercises or postures are associated or uh, well known for the, to cure the diabetes. So when I was present, uh, presenting or my co-staff member were preparing this presentation, then we thought that we should add some research work which has been done by the Indian author as well as the foreign authors. So we found many researches was done and which shows a significant effect of um, yogic asanas or pranayam exercises on diabetes. So one is uh, research is done by uh, a foreign author and uh, it is the effect of uh, yoga asanas to cure diabetes type 2. Okay, so it shows a significant effect of uh, uh, on the uh, diabetes, to cure the diabetes. And other three, four research is again there, which is done by the Indian authors and uh, published in a very renowned journal, like International Journal of Diabetes, Journal of Drug, uh, Journal of Drug Delivery, then uh, Yoga Journals, so all these excess, uh, all these uh, research are publi published over there. Okay. So next, I thought that uh, okay, there are few three things which uh, I'm I have mentioned in my PPT, but there are three more asanas which you can perform at home. It's little bit little bit uh, advanced level asan, but you can do because in the beginning level uh, we can do. So I'll ask my uh, co-staff member uh, to perform this asana in beginning level first. So I request uh, Dr. Sheila to perform Dhanurasana first. Just hold, beta, hold, hold. Just hold, uh, Dr. Sheila. Uh, camera is not, uh, we have to arrange, manage the camera. So just hold for one minute. Yes. It's okay now. Dhanurasan, Balasan, and Bhujangasan is there. So I told to my co-staff member to perform Dhanurasan 
for you people so how to do lie down on the ground on your belly bend the knees backward hold the feet with hands below the ankles deep take a deep breath and raise the chest as high as possible now stretch your feet so that body take the shape of a bow stay this in this position as long as you can while breathing out relax your body come to the initial position and you can at home you can repeat this posture three to four time and if you feel that your body is tired now just relax for one or two minutes then you can do it again dhanur asan is a pose help in strengthening and regulating the pancreas this is a asan which activate your pancreas and pancreas is a a uh, physiological system of human body which work with which is there is a insulin is there is insulin reproduction is there okay in this way this is a uh, in this way you can do this asan at home okay next one is we have to do balasan balasan is a basic asan okay so let's do balasan again uh kneel down or you can sit in a bhujar asan on your on the floor sit on your buttocks or i i told you that you can sit in bhujar asan many people they are aware about the name of bhujar asan place your knees hip width apart the apart and inhale now bend forward exhale as long as you can maintain this position you should do it hold this position in starting you can hold it for 30 second then 2 to 3 minutes 2 to 3 minutes okay in this way you have to come to the first initial position okay next one is balasan so i request again to my co staff member to do balasan so uh, what is the effects of balasan actually <clears throat> let me discuss with you balasan it stretch your lower back and relax the spine okay it strengthen and stretch your thighs ankle and muscles of hips it gives calmness to your mind and slow down the level of stress and fatigue it is useful in back pain that's not all performing the pose can increase relaxation which helps to increase the reproduction of insulin producing beta cells okay so next one is your bhujangasan so i request again to my co staff member uh, to perform uh, this asan for you place your palms on the ground directly under your shoulder bend your elbow straight back and hug them into your sides pause for a moment looking straight down at your mat at your mat then your neck and in a neutral position inhale to lift off the floor keep your neck neutral means your neck should, should be relaxed at that time so in this way you can do this bhujangasan okay and come back from the um, after that you can come back to the initial position bhujangasan actually work like a charm on your back muscles our modern lifestyle we are not able in our modern lifestyle we are not able to find a time to relax our back okay so this asan relax your back help in lowering blood pressure and blood sugar and also help to improve the posture posture of your body the people who are suffering from asthma they also used to do this asan in this in this way we can do all these asanas at home and these all asanas are very helpful in reducing or in balancing the diabetes level of human body as i told you i am going to repeat Uh, the crux of this ppt first why there is a diabetes it means there is a 
there is a disorder of uh, there is a functioning disorder of uh, your pancreas okay the second thing what are the major cause of uh, your diabetes so let me tell you the major cause of diabetes is stress level and the inactive lifestyle mainly concerned with diabetes type 2 so this is the second important thing which should we should know the third one is how yoga is helping you out to cure diabetes so third is we should do mainly surya namaskar for the whole body system or the whole joints of the human body the next one is your manduk asana mainly effect the pancreas then anulom vilom pranayam which work on your physical physical and physiological system as well as it will increase the circulation of your body and calm your mind also so it help in in decreasing the stress level of human body so in this way you can cure your uh, diabetes or your sugar level uh, by doing all those these asanas next three asanas uh, i have discussed you can do it but if you find it they are not uh, you are not able to do it then do in it in a beginner stage in this way uh, beginner stage if you do it in beginner stage even then they are helpful to cure diabetes that's all from my side so over to you ruby ma'am thank you so much Thank you so much, ma'am, for intensifying and magnifying the knowledge of our attendees. This was such an impactful presentation by you and the attendees. They have, uh, they have now. I believe they must be proficient in yoga asanas, and they will sparkle with this gain expertise. So, thank you so much, ma'am. And uh, yes, ma'am, we have a uh, few queries from our attendees. So, with your permission, we'll take up those queries. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. So, ma'am, there is a query from Amir. He wants to know that uh, is this yoga asans? They are a part of curriculum. We'll learn about it during the course duration. Yes. Uh, I I want to know first. Uh, he is. Uh, I want to know his. Uh, Program in which he has taken the admissions. I want to know the program. Ma'am, I think he hasn't it's taken the admissions. He's just inquiring about it. So, uh, Amir, I would like to tell you that uh, yoga is the essential part of almost all the program. And in BPEd and MPEd, there is specialization uh, of yoga. Okay. Then there is a. Uh, game proficiency in which yoga has been included then uh, in bsc there is a specialization in third uh, year in third uh, in fifth and sixth semester yoga is a part of our curriculum okay thank you so much ma'am so uh, there is a very interesting question from manmita she wants to know that uh, is there any kind of competitions or any kind of uh, any platform is there where we can after gaining this expertise we can compete for this is there any uh, is there any kind of national level or international level of competition in this specific area as well actually uh, i would like to tell to the student that we expose our students to various yoga events like all india inter university national district every we used to expose them to each and every uh, competition which is associated with you all right okay thank you so much ma'am and there is another question from akash gelot he wants to know that can uh, these asanas be helpful in reducing the obesity yes of course uh, it is helpful to reduce the obesity and uh, there are many research which uh, describe that uh, yoga is very helpful to reduce obesity but you know it depends upon the mindset you know how everything is there with passion if you do anything with passion it will work positively on your body <clears throat> so 
you should if you want to reduce obesity or fat mass then you should do definitely you should do but the exercise will be different but surya namaskar you can start you know from the first day to reduce obesity definitely ma'am i completely agree with you passion and hard work is ne uh, needed if you want to achieve something if you want to reduce the obesity if you want to diminish the obesity from your body you have to you should be passionate enough and move towards the direction in reducing that so uh, thank you so much yes. ma'am for resolving all the queries of our attendees i hope the attendees they have gained so much information about about it and if attendees if you want to learn about this in person you want to meet our mentorship so you have to come to our university you have to take admission and for that the process uh, we have our admission nominee dr chirag sharma with us he'll uh, he'll uh, tell you in detail about the admission process about the university so over to you sir for the admission part of the university i i hope my voice is audible yes sir loud yeah. and clear yeah so i'll be explaining regarding the infrastructure part along with that uh, the admission part as well so we start with the slide uh, we as you can see since we are talking about the physical education course and this very very important course uh, you can see over here 13 students have from lpu have represented india in tokyo olympics 2020 which was held last year out of which one gold medal and various uh, when uh, various bronze medals have been actually achieved by our lpu students only this is one of the major achievements that we have actually done so far because of the sports infrastructure we provide to the students and sports are directly equivalent to your physical education part as well so again uh, we'll be discussing about uh, the firstly we are talking about the rankings of the university lpu has been ranked 36 among top uh, top universities of india as per the world university rankings in 2022 uh and if i talk about the campus life and the exposure that we are offering so we have we are we were the first private university to conduct indian science congress uh, it was held in 2019 inaugurated by our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi uh, sir so we conducted that conference in in 2019 from january 3rd to 7th january so we have been conducting various uh, various big events such as convocation which was inaugurated by then president presidents of india as well as uh, afghanistan along with that uh, we have various uh, various uh, lpu startup school is one of the major uh, school that we started and it was inaugurated by lay sri arun jetli sir and various life skills uh, lessons have been taught by various eminent personalities i'm talking from real life hero to uh, real life hero so we had a visit of shahrukh khan sir mahinder singh dhoni sir Uh, they visited our campus and uh, made our campus various um, vibrant. So uh, again, if I, if I talk about the infrastructure part, you can see this is one of the very good feature of our university, the amphitheater or open auditorium, which is connected with various academic blocks. So uh, and and there is also a central library, which is a four-story building. So uh, this has a capacity of more than three thousand people who can sit in this auditorium. Various big events. of our university is uh, get conducted over here uh, so we have shanti devi mitra auditorium indoor air conditioned auditorium of having a which, which acts which actually has a capacity of more than 2000 people who can sit in this auditorium uh, along with that uh, we have nine story academic resource resource center where the students can get all the access to their daily necessities uh, along with that uh, we have a uni mall and it is also uh, uh, separated with uni hotel as well in, in the campus itself so you can see this is uni mall and this is central library which has a access of more than 1 lakh books uh, in in the campus across various departments so it's a four story building and in the mall we have Uh, various things such as uh, bowling as well as gym facilities given to us we have a uni hospital in our campus as well because in this time of pandemic it is very important to have that facility apart from that uh, we have we are talking about this particular course uh, and uh, the mid, uh, the important feature of our university is indoor sports complex which provides access to various indoor games such as basketball volleyball 
uh, badminton courts as well as swimming so i can show you this is swimming pool this is olympic size swimming pool along with uh, various badminton courts around 14 indoor badminton courts along with uh, basketball as well as there is sports uh, court as well uh, along with uh, volleyball court uh, we have a shooting range also so again the sports in lpu has done wonders for lpu and uh, the recently conducted halo india games 2022 so lpu was the first university to bag more of more than any medals against all the universities it was the highest number of medals were won by lpu student and we actually stood second in overall standing because of the gold medals so again uh, this uh, is one of the major major you know, part of our university is a sports facility that we provide to the students uh, this is an eating view of the campus you can see various academic blogs and there is open auditorium also this and this is a nice view of our campus Apart from that, uh, if I talk about the uh, important feature of our campus, the uh, important feature of our campus is the residential facility and the security that we provide to the students. So residential facility, I would say uh, it is a clearly ra uh, ragging free campus. It cannot uh, because the university provides the anti ragging certificate to every student and the sign for it. And ragging is totally prohibited in the campus along with you cannot directly enter the university directly. So you just have to put uh, your turnstile on and then enter to the university. Uh, so residential facility, we have we are the large uh, largest, uh, you know, we have the highest capacity to uh, to basically uh, intake students and uh, for the hostels, the 20,000 plus capacity uh, is given to the uh, it's as a residential facility with one seater, two seater, three seater, four seater, along with luxury apartments with six girls and eight boys hostels and different. Uh, food options which are given to the students at a South Indian uh, standard as well as North Indian um, mess facility that we provide to the students. So now we come back to uh, the course that we basically go about that. Uh, so firstly, you need to select a particular link to basically uh, access the course that you want to do in physical education. So for example, one of the course that you are doing in physical education, uh, for that, you need to put a particular link on the website. The website is nest.lpu.in. And in nest.lpu.in, there are various courses that you can see, but you can evenly search physical education. So over here, you you find various uh, courses of physical education like BPH, MPH, Bachelor of Physical Education and Sports. Uh, this is one course, BSc Health and Physical Education. This is also another course. So if I talk about a BPH course, so if i select that dpa course so obviously the important thing for me to understand is the eligibility of this particular course so uh, by default i'll be linked to the eligibility of this particular course and the eligibility of this particular course is again for that i need to select this particular course uh, and uh, since i have uh, i have actually selected dpa course so it will take me to another link and uh, in in this link uh, i will be finding the eligibility of this course so clearly uh, the eligibility of this course is that uh, you must pass 50 percent with aggregate marks in bachelor degree and any discipline having at least participation in inter or college or interzonal or district uh, or a school competition in sports and games organized by either aiu or ioa or SCFI or government of india or equivalent or subject to qualifying lpu badge See, uh, one of the important things to understand uh, to get admission to this course is that you must qualify LPU PET examination. PET examination means uh, it is physical efficiency test that every student goes through and uh, or, uh, or students must pass with 45 percent because you have to apply for LPU PET examination. I'll tell you how to apply for it. Uh, so 45 percent aggregate marks in either bachelor uh, degree in physical education or equivalent. Again, LPU PET is required. So how it will be applied uh, from this link over here, you can clearly see how to apply. So the moment you click this link, you will be directed to this. But uh, importantly, I should explain you the scholarship of this particular course and the fee structure. If I talk about the fee structure of this course, the fee structure of this course is 50,000 every semester the student has to pay. A uh, student has to pay 50,000 every semester, but we are giving scholarship on the, basis, uh, on the basis of either graduation marks or plus two marks or category two cutoff in the basis of LPU nest examination. 
if uh, see when you apply for this examination you will be given two options whether to apply for lpu nest examination this is national eligibility and scholarship test so it will give you the scholarship accordingly uh, so it will give you the scholarship accordingly so uh, when you talk about the scholarship of this particular course so the important thing to understand on this aspect is uh, that uh, uh, the students give the test and they have to fall in certain categories so category one cut off category two cut off or category three cut off so we, we give a scholarship on the basis of category one cut off with 55 percent uh, of a program fees is reduced from students account so student needs to pay only 22,500 so 27,500 is uh, given to the student every semester so again, uh, with, with category two cutoff, we are providing 45% of uh, scholarship or with uh, category three cutoff, we are providing 35% of scholarship. Uh, or uh, either we give scholarship on the basis of LQ next examination or if your performance in good is, is actually good in graduation or plus two. So if your performance is good in graduation or plus two, you get the scholarship of again uh, with 90 per, uh, 90 or above in graduation you will get uh, again 55 percent of program fee or if you have 95 percent or above in plus two you get uh, this scholarship amount if you have 80 percent to 89.9 percent in graduation or 90 to 94.99 percent in aggregate and plus two you get 45 percent of uh, scholarship Again, uh, if you have 70 to 79.99 or 80 to 89.99 percent in graduation or plus two, uh, you get scholarship of uh, 17,500. Again, scholarships are provided on the basis of merit, whether it is on LPNS examination or whether it is on the basis of graduation or plus two. So uh, let's just discuss about uh, how to apply for this course. The moment you select this particular link, you can clearly see on the right side there is an option of apply now. Uh, the moment the student applies for this examination, the student will be directed to certain link where uh, they need to apply for that with their name, email ID, mobile number, and then uh, by default, you if you select register, you will be given any OTP. You will be registered, and after registering, uh, you will be directed to LPU PET examination again. Uh, LPU PET is very much mandatory. It has to be given, and it is conducted in the university itself. So student again uh, after clearing LPU PET examination, student is eligible to take admission in Bachelor of Physical Education course. That's about it. Uh, or if, if I have to declare the important dates, so the the important dates again uh, we have our registration uh, started now from 26 May onwards, and the last date of admission is 31st of July. So again, student needs to apply for this particular uh, examination as early as possible. The last day to apply for the scholarship exam is 31st of July. If there is any important query, I'll be happy to answer. Thank you from my side. Thank you so much, sir, for the detailed information about the admission part. Yes, sir, we have one query uh, from Vinay Gupta. He wants to know about the education loan through LPU. Yes, uh, we don't act, actually let me let me tell you this fact that we don't give loan to the students, but we provide loan letter to the students, right? Uh, so loan letter to the students is provided uh, if the student needs to mail to us after taking admission, they have to take provisional admission for the same. They need to uh, clear LP PET examination and get enrolled in physical education course. After taking the admission, the registration number is given to the student. So we provide loan letter to the students and loan is applied through various banks. Whether it is SBI, whether it is PNB, so the bank student needs to approach, but we will provide loan letter because the certain documents are required for applying loan. So that documents are provided by us. So uh, student needs to mail uh, to the email ID, which is student loan assistant at the rate of lpu.co.in. But this can only be done after taking admission because after taking admission, you have registration number with us and registration number, we can easily create loan letter accordingly. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, and uh, Neelam, there is a, another query pop up for the uh, specific, specifically for the school, for the program. So I would like you to resolve that. So, uh, ma'am, there is a query from Amrit. He wants to know that will there any kind of placements after the course? Like if we want a specialization in yogas 
all the celebrities they are inclined towards yoga nowadays but what will be the placement strategy or what will be the placement scenario at lpu after the completion of the course if the students specialize in this uh, yoga okay let me talk about uh, the scenario of placement in the school of physical education so uh, yes. we never face the problem of placement but i cannot say what happened in the future because it's not me i have a person who provide the facilities to the students so today till today all the student who have registered for the placement all have been placed no one is there uh, who have not placed so uh, i am not facing till date any challenge regarding the placement okay although uh, this time our highest placement is placement is uh, 9.8 lakh okay our student she has been placed in abroad so we are working for the placement in india as well as in the abroad but to, to get placement student has to follow the instructions which has been which has been delivered by the teachers or which has been given by the teachers so if he follow the, all the instructions he can get a good placements as i told you one of us is a student she has recently placed on 9.8 package it's the highest package i think for the physical education students i think almost uh, uh, it's a it's a very good placement for the students and she has been placed in abroad and uh, placed in a indian public school uh, uh, in abroad thank you so much and congratulations to you ma'am for this 100% success rate in the placements and this is all because of uh, your team your guidance to the students that they have excelled uh, in their careers so thank you so much ma'am and uh, with this we will conclude our today's webinar thank you attendees for sharing time and participating in today's webinar we appreciate you all for uh, your valuable time and believe your knowledge has been enriched by our mentorship by the expertise delivered by our mentorship also i would like to express my appreciation to the experts for their valuable contribution to the topic which was entitled as yoga solutions for lifestyle diseases i'm sure your years of research your years of experience will definitely help the attendees to choose the right path so until next time i ruby gill finally sign off the session thank you everyone <laughs> Thank you.